Located in Southern California, the Peterson Auto Museum is one of the coolest places you could ever go as a car lover. It has some of the rarest cars in the entire world, everything from the original RX-7 concept to the DeLorean time machine. In the Peterson Auto Museum, there's also a place called the vault. And the vault is a place that cameras are usually never allowed, but we got special permission to film in the vault. Inside of this vault are some of the rarest cars in the entire world, and all of them each with their own amazing story. So thanks for clicking on this video, and let's go for a walk. Dude, look at the books. Okay, so what's special here? This is uh, Outlaws built by Ed Roth, Ed Big Daddy Roth. You know, his business was uh, selling t-shirts at custom car shows. So he built custom cars to paint pictures of them to sell them at car shows. This custom was used by uh, Batman. That's Michael creepy. Keaton's? Michael Keaton's Batman. It's low key creepy, I didn't realize it. I'm not gonna touch it. It comes to life right now. <laughs> This was uh, sold by BMW between the 507 and the uh, 1600. The Urkel car. It's an Urkel car, Urkel exactly. Car. This is uh, this is owned by was owned by Steve McQueen. Original Bugatti, right in front of me. What is happening? They're called a four camer or an Indy Ford V8 engine. So uh, Jim Clark won the Indianapolis 500 in a Lotus Ford using an engine like this. The French government's gift to Mohammed Reza Pahlavi, the uh, Prince of Persia Shah of Iran, for really? a wedding in 1939. <laughs> now, they went out of bit, they went into bankruptcy, no parts available, so in 1957, this car was sold from the Shah's motor pool for $250. Oh my Cause god. Because they because they just deemed it you can't fix it, you can't do anything, so they just needed to get rid of it. Yeah, it just sort of sold it as well. The next what person was the before? chicken farmer because they do have uh, pictures here where they have a, a crate of chickens in the back of the car. <laughs> now one time there was a they replaced the uh the uh Bugatti engine with a, a Packard straight eight. That mm. uh, Daimler fifty seven HP was uh all in the motor pool of King George V of England. Literally, holy Yeah. 1925 Rolls Royce Phantom One Aerodynamic Agenda. <laughs> Jean Cayer, the Belgian coach builder, to uh, build a, uh, a body and aero in the Art Deco style. And um, it was built to be shown at Consorts d'Elegance because, let's face it, the Take driver work. can barely see beyond the spirit of ecstasy. Yeah, yeah. You okay, really so it. it's got 22-inch uh, wheels. It's got a raked radiator shell, round doors with pie-shaped windows, two sunroofs, four pieces of fitted luggage in the back, and uh, a 15-inch fin. This the, uh, car, blunder, Elizabeth the Taylor. That owned the car. Oh, the oh my God. Oh my God. Engine. This has to be the ugliest color I've ever seen, but I love this car. There's a, a nick in the steering wheel. There's also uh, two holes in the floor. Wow. So did he just get really upset one day and then he just lit it up? Yeah, yeah. He got into <laughs> a fight with his girlfriend. His little peeve before he got into the car wouldn't start, so he got his revolver. <laughs> first uh, supercar, but although Porsche says they built the first supercar, mm. so, I mean, they said it. They built 109 million cars. Well, I've never seen one. I've never ever. seen one in person before either. Like, what? What is this doing here? <laughs> I'm still so mindful. I'm trying to get the interior. I'm doing my best, guys. This is a Ferrari Sergio. Six were built in 2015, and they sold them for three million dollars a piece. How much? Three million dollars a piece. So if you want to go to Cars and Coffee, this would be the car to take. For sure. <laughs> I got you all beat. <laughs> yeah. So is this one right here a real GT40? This is a real GT40, and this is a Le Mans winner. No way. Yeah. This is the 19th. I think this is the 1969 Le Mans winner. Three million dollars a piece. It was uh, prepared by JW Automotive. His sponsor was Gulf Oil. The financial sponsor was Gulf Oil. So this has got the uh, Gurney Westlake heads on the uh, 302 cubic inch uh, Ford V8 engine. 
at the uh, Gurney Westlake heads. Uh, if you looked in the intake port, you could see the combustion. You could see really? the valves. Yeah, they're such a straight shot. They didn't need an intake manifold to mount the. The Weber's were mounted directly to the uh, into the uh, the intake ports. So these two cars are chip boost design cars. I think this is called Roadster. It's built by Boyd Coddington, and um, it's got a Lexus V8 engine. The uh, the body was made by Marcel Vallee. The third body that was built for the car was built in 1946 after the war. But you know the uh, the uh, Horn is a, uh, in the shape of a serpent, and horns of that era were used to warn horses that they were, mm. were going to be in their presence. Yeah. Got a little luggage rack. <laughs> you put all like a, uh, some dog treats. <laughs> exactly. That's really <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fisker Karma. A, uh, a, an episode, was an unsolved, um, mystery. no, it was unsolved, something, something like that, unsolved mysteries or something like that. He was uh, turned in by his neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's it's amazing. amazing. And then extradited back to California yeah, they, to serve they, trial. They had a lot of orders. Were... Wasn't this made out of wood or something? I think, I don't know, something I think really cheap. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. First front wheel drive track car that turned under 10 seconds in four months. Really? in the uh, 1973 uh, World Rally Championship. It won the uh, Rally of uh, Corsica. Oh, okay. In the car is Black Beauty. It was uh, it built by, uh, no, it's a Chrysler. Oh, okay. 66 Chrysler. So, um, both movies, too, Be Fast, Be Furious, and Too Fast, Too Furious. It was uh, written by Suki and uh, played by Dev Naoki and uh, <laughs> Too Fast, Too Furious. And this car was built by George Barris, but it was used to promote the movie, but it wasn't used in the movie. This interior got roughed up. This is Saddam Hussein's parade car. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, the evil empire strikes. Yeah. All y'all need is Hitler's car now. It's, uh, it's in original condition. All That's the right. Dents, all the dents were made by the Republican Guard. Homemobile. <laughs> for uh, St. John Paul II's historic visit to Estadio Azteca in Mexico City. So would they put the bulletproof glass box on top of that chair? Well, that chair? was the problem, is that they didn't uh, put a uh, bulletproof glasses, and the Vatican said, no, you can't use it. So oh. the only car that was blessed by a saint that the saint never drove in. Wow. <laughs> seal, presidential seal. You've got a uh, presidential uh, seal on the side. You said this one was Johnson, Carter, and Nixon? No, this was uh, Nixon, Ford, and Carter. Okay. The Eisenhower presidency, this was the uh, Detroit car. The White House could not accept it as a gift, so it held, held the Chrysler's motor pool until it was needed, and then it was taken down to uh, Washington for parades. So, Alan Prost is that one car. Okay, so this, uh, this was driven by Elaine Prost, uh, 1987 McLaren MP4-3, and this was the engine that powered the car. So this is the... Uh, the uh, Porsche V6 engine that was financed by uh, TAG, Techniques de Avant Garde. If you guys haven't seen the movie Senna, you have to watch it. That's why I'm really freaking out about this car right now. I'm so excited to see Prost's car because Senna and him went at it so much in the early 90s and Senna was such an incredible driver. So it's cool seeing the identical car he was running. Well, slant nose option. The front end looks like the front end of a 935 Porsche. And this was a, a $30,000 option. Just for the nose. Just for the nose. So this car cost about $100,000. What are you looking at, butthead? <laughs> so this is the original DeLorean from Back to the Future. <gasps> Told where to go, 1985. This is Thelma and Louise's car. This is Iron Man's hot rod when he's working on it with the Clash plane. That's what I remember. Wow, I didn't know Batman rode on Hoosiers. He knows what he's doing. 
He's not just a stupid rich guy. I think it's based on, I think it's on a Buick chassis, if I remember right. I can't remember though. First practical car ever. In the Beverly Hills in 1921. No they had, way. They had a one and a quarter mile speedway and these stands are on the site of the, uh, of the uh, Beverly Wilshire Hotel. I think, I think it's the concept car. Oh yeah, because it's the concept model, David. Yeah, it's a little, it's, it looks like Lightning McQueen's mouth right here. <laughs> Speaking of it. <laughs> little dopey that no you know what it is it's in a Miata in the front that's it found you <laughs> XJ220 was based upon the XJR9 which won Le Mans. so the Porsche behind me was owned by the cocaine smugglers race team and you, there's a really good video about it on Donut Media I'll link it in the description but basically this is one of the race cars they had well, it's amazing what you can do when you don't focus on going fast, right? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing about yeah. it is, like, the cool thing was Jay Leno had an episode on his thing where he brought in some low riders, and he had one, the guy had a 409 and a four speed. Like, it was an original 409 four speed car. This is a Pinata. <laughs> yeah, I noticed oh, that. Pinata. <laughs> Pre production Viper. So, this is before the Viper even existed. This is a solar powered car. Pretty cool. Hydrogen power. Look at this right here. Left, right. San Francisco Gymkhana. Yeah, pretty rad. One of my favorites for sure. Or it could be a Plymouth. This could yeah. be it a does look like a Plymouth. Plymouth. Well, when you, if you were to tell me, like, if you were to tell me we were not in the Ferrari exhibit and yeah. this didn't have a badge on it, I'd be like, oh, who made that? Like, Ian? Yeah. So this was the uh, first model that was produced. It's a uh, Barquetta, it was used for racing. Um, 1947. 47, so look at the, uh, you know, no, uh, no egg crate grills. This is before the egg crate grill. Body was made by Touring. They're the one that came up with the idea of the egg crate grill. And then every Ferrari since have had an egg crate grill. Big thanks to the guys at the Peterson Auto Museum and Con Media for making this video possible. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a fantastic day.